Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about relative speed. So what is relative speed? Imagine that you are traveling on a train and there is another train running by the side of your train. And both the trains are running at the same speed. Well, the other train will appear to you as a stationary object, right? Because both of you are traveling at the same speed. So that is relative speed. It means that the speed of the other train relative to your train is zero, right? So there are two situations in relative speed. One situation is that both the objects are moving in the same direction and the other situation is that the objects are moving in opposite directions. So let us take the first situation. So these are two objects moving in the same direction. A is moving at A meters per second and B is moving at B meters per second. So what would be the relative velocity? Well, the relative velocity will be A minus B meters per second. Now, let us take another situation. Now the objects are traveling in opposite directions. So the relative velocity will be equal to or the relative speed you would say will be equal to the addition of these speeds. So a plus b meters per second. So it is clear that when the objects are moving in the same direction you subtract their speeds to get the relative speed and when they are moving in opposite directions you add up their speeds. Let us solve a question now. You have two trains a and b are running in the same direction at 5 meters per second and 10 meters per second respectively. What is the relative speed of train B with respect to A? Well, the speed of train B is given to us which is 10 meters per second and the speed of A is 5 meters per second. Right. Now, you have been asked what is the relative speed. So, first of all, check in which direction both the objects are running. Well, these two trains A and B are running in the same direction. So if they are running in the same direction, it means that we have to subtract their speed. So we have been asked relative speed of B with respect to A. So the speed of B is 10 minus the speed of A, which is 5. And that is equals to 5 meters per second. And that's the relative speed of train B with respect to A. Let us solve this question now. Two trains of length A and B meters are moving in opposite directions to each other at U meters per second and V meters per second. What is the time taken by the trains to cross each other? Well, the situation is like this. You have one train which is A meters long and another train that is B meters long. And both are running in opposite directions. So, first of all, you have been asked the time taken. What is the formula for time taken? Time is equal to distance upon speed. Right. Now, you can easily get the speed because you have two objects and these objects are traveling in opposite directions. So, the speed will be relative speed. So, we have d upon the speed is relative speed and the relative speed of objects moving in opposite directions is the addition of their speed. So, u plus v is the speed. Now, we have to calculate the distance. So, let us assume that this is the meeting point of this train. Now, the train which is moving to the right, that is the train which is a meters long, will have to travel a meters in order to cross this blue point, right? So, we have a meters plus this train which is b meters long will have to travel b meters in order to cross this blue dot. So the effective distance traveled by both the trains is the addition of their lengths a plus b. So this is the distance. So basically we have just found out a formula for calculating time which is equals to the distance of both the trains added a plus b divided by the relative speed u plus v. Now this is the formula that is effective only when you have two trains whose length is a and b meters and these are traveling at in opposite directions, right? Now this question also gives you a similar situation. You have two trains of length a and b which are moving in the same direction 
at u meters per second and v meters per second speed. What is the time taken by the faster train, which is this black one, a meters long, to cross the other train? Well, let us write the formula for time, which is distance upon speed. What is the speed? These two objects are traveling in the same direction. Well, the relative speed will be the faster train speed minus the slower train speed, which is u minus v. So u minus v is the relative speed. You have to calculate the distance traveled now. Now this black train has to cross this gray train completely. Right. So how much is the distance that is traveled by this black train? Well, it has to travel the distance of this train's length, which is b, plus its own length. So the distance will be actually a plus b. So we have a plus b as the distance and the speed is the relative speed which is u minus v. So this is again a formula for trains which are moving in the same direction and the time taken is what you have to find to cross the smaller train by the faster train.